What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Now, I know normally I am channeling music and I never start out with cards. I think that is like readers. Like, that's why I don't watch tarot. I want my own shit, okay? But Spirit was like, nah. Because when I'm, I'm pre-shuffling, these two cards popped out and this one was at the bottom. And it was like, Spirit was like, no, Tiff, hit that record button, okay? So I gotta obey. I don't like to start my readings like this, okay? But these popped out. I promise you guys, I would never play with my spirit guides. I never play with y'all like that, okay? Now, there is a song that was on when this happened, that Chris Stapleson song, you, can, you Should Probably Leave. And the part is when it says, there's still time for you to finish your wine, then you should probably leave. And it's hard to resist. All right, just one kiss, then you should probably leave. I know you, and you know me. We both know where this is gonna lead. You want me to say that I want you to stay, so you should probably leave. Okay, now, that was the song that was playing. But now, with this energy coming out here, it is very, very just completely off topic with that song. I don't know if it's like whoever this, this person you're dealing with, they're getting advice and bullshit put into their ear about you. Like you're not good enough or like not on their level or... I don't know if this person is wealthy. I don't know because there's two karmic energies here. Okay. Now we have a mom. And wow, let me breathe, motherfucker, right under that. Now we have a mom. We have a karmic mother. Okay. It says mother superior complex. And it says they feel like they have a free pass to act aberrant due to female privilege. Okay. And there is an energy of this person being clingy as fuck. So whoever you're dealing with has a clingy ass karmic mother, okay? And this person is like, let me, like, they don't want to go off on their mom, okay? But this mother is telling whoever you are dealing with here, okay? Your person is, it's like this person raised your person, so, you got to wonder why your person is like that. They come from this, okay? And they've made your person... I feel like I'm not dealing with a broke-ass, dusty partner, okay? I'm feeling like somebody who comes from maybe a little bit of money, okay? Or, and if they don't, like, they rely on this motherly figure for mother money, okay? Um... But whoever you were dealing with was extremely vain, uh, an excessively high opinion on one's appearance, abilities, or worth, okay? And I feel like that has to do with this mother. This mother is, like, extremely vain, extremely shallow. Tells whoever you're dealing with that you're not good enough, you're not on their level, they have an excessively high opinion about you, about how you look, uh, about your worth, about your abilities, and it's be they feel like they can tell this, this person that you're dealing with all this bullshit because they're their mother. But your person is in this energy. Like, let me breathe, motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me. Okay? Like, damn, this mom is like a helicopter parent, if you know what that is. This is somebody that's probably controlled or manipulated this person with some kind of money. Okay? Throughout life is what I do see. Like, I don't know if your person just, like, worked their ass off to get their money. But I definitely feel like there's a motherly figure that is doing okay. And they use that against your person. Okay. 
Yeah, look, whoever can't even take their own advice but can dish it out. That shit's crazy as fuck because I didn't even read what is under this, okay? Whoever this dark, motherly, superior figure is in your person's life who, who, who are telling them, like, you're not good enough for them. They think they're so motherfucking smart, but the thing is, they can't even, they, they're a know-it-all. You know, this motherly figure is a know-it-all. They're always right. How dare you go against what I say? But this person's grown as fuck. <laughs> Mommy dearest, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting out of this. Like, a mommy dearest energy. Uh, They want to continuously give advice, but I feel like also, whoever's mom this is, whoever you're dealing with, mom is single. Like, either their dad left them a long time ago, or been single for a while, or can't keep a man themselves. Um, so, it's like they're steadily giving whoever you're dealing with advice about you, but they can't even do shit in their own life, love life. And that's why they're so miserable and telling people that you're not good enough. But see, this whoever you're dealing with is looking in the mirror, right? I feel in twin flame energy because who's looking back is themselves, right? And what comes under that, oh, where they're pushing this motherfucker off is pure and modest. Then this person is in a mirror, okay? So whenever your person who is dealing with somebody who is very vain, very manipulative, talks down on you, says you're not worth it, you're not on this person's level, feels superior to you, your person knows for sure and for a fact, look at how there's even a square around the mirror in the same, that shit's crazy as fuck, okay? They look at you as pure, as model, as, <laughs> I said model, model, modest, okay? You could even dress in a certain way and they judge that, but it's like, it don't matter how the fuck I dress. Like, if I'm not out jumping on 10 dicks or falling in 10 coochies, like, obviously, like, don't, don't judge a book by its cover, almost. But I feel like this motherly energy is so motherfucking jealous. Like, they don't want to see their, their child with anybody. They don't even want to get the chance to get to know you. You could have dressed a certain way or acted a certain I don't know what it is. Like, maybe you did meet them and they just immediately, the energy was off. You felt like they were looking for a reason. You could have even been the person that got into it with this motherly energy. Okay, that's not for everybody. But as the more, like, this motherly energy talks down on you, the more it's pushing whoever you're dealing with away from this person. Because they see how pure you are. They see how the love, in, they see you from the inside out, you know. I feel like there's also a very beautiful side to you. Um, but maybe this mother doesn't like the way you dress. Maybe this mother doesn't like where you come from, your background, right? Like, it, it is what it is. But the thing is, whoever this mother is, they can't keep, keep a love in their life at all neither. Because they're fucking miserable. Now, let's move on, okay? So now we have carbon copy, okay? Now, this is a, another karmic energy that I'm feeling that came out. We have carbon copy and trying to be like you. And now look what's at the bottom. Can we say type anyway? Dates look alike. Named, and I was literally just about to say, I feel like this mother dropped name drops that says the ex's name around you like I feel like this mother might have liked an ex that your person dealt with a lot okay and so purposely this dark karmic mother energy will bring up the ex around you to make you feel some type of way I literally was just about to say this and then name dropping is right here and then stop body shaming criticizes the imperfections of others and of oh, man come on bro I cannot make this up I don't know if this person like will try to say something about the ex or whatever this is okay so there's this 
let me finish channeling this correctly, okay? So there's an X here, or a karmic energy that your person dealt with. And this motherly energy really wants whoever you're dealing with to be with this ex or this person, this other energy that is in this person's life, okay? The thing is, <laughs> this other person, no, like, it's almost like this mother will be like, you look exactly like the ex, Oh, they definitely have a type. Like, I don't know. There's just very condescending energy I'm feeling. I'm also feeling a hateful invite, okay? And this is not for, ever, for everybody. This is very specific. Like, the mom invited the ex to, like, a get-together that they knew you would be at to be messy. Okay, I don't know, like, who that happened to. Okay. But there's an energy of somebody seeing how this person loves you. And it's almost like they stop, start trying to... And you might look like the ex. I do kind of feel like maybe you look like the ex. And maybe that might make you feel some type of way. Because of something that this mother said. Because this mother name dropped the ex. And then could body shame. Like talk about your appearance. And maybe not in your face. But to whoever you're dealing with. Well the ex didn't have this and this. And the ex didn't have this and this. And oh I see you got somebody that looks just like the ex. Blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Like this karmic mother wants. They're a karmic right? Devil energy. This is somebody, this is not the, your person's true mother here, like mother. This is just their mother here on earth. They birthed them here on earth, but that was all this person was meant to do for this person. But because they're karmic and they've obviously, this mom obviously dealt with your person in a past life also and had some kind of control over your person in the past life. So whether, you know, they could have been anything to your person, right? But it's like, so this dark energy would rather see their child with this other dark energy. And so what they're doing is they're body shaming you. They're talking about the ex in front of you to hurt your feelings. They might talk about how you guys look alike to make you feel like, oh, your person's still caught up on the ex. Mm -hmm. but spirit is saying like you know what it, it makes you almost feel like this black cat here let's not i'm hearing very superstitious writings on the wall mm. very superstitious you know you know this person is just doing this to hurt you you know this motherly energy is just doing this bullshit to try to get under your skin I feel like you felt out of place around these people anyway. And I feel like your person was supposed to cut off this karmic mother a very long time ago. But they didn't. They stuck around. I don't know if it's a well situation or because they were scared of what will happen. It says scared of the unknown. Scared of what would happen if they were to venture out alone. And 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 leave this mother who holds shit over their head behind. Look, whoever this is, is living a lie. Misrepresentation. They're not happy. It's almost like they do what their mother says. But when they look in the mirror, they see you looking back at them. This beautiful, pure person. That they know that this karmic mother is full of shit. They don't know you. They judge a book by its cover. And so, and it was very interesting on this living a lie and misrepresentation card. Is this person is taking the mask off. And I feel like that's where this let me breathe motherfucker comes in. Okay, I feel like this mask is going to start coming off of whoever you're dealing with. 
and they're gonna start like while th this karmic mother is pushing and pushing and pushing i feel like your person is gonna start pushing back like let me breathe i'm grown as fuck i don't give a damn they're scared to step out into the unknown and to see what's out there without this hovering mother taking care of them but they can't take it anymore. They're, this mother is trying to force them to be with somebody that they don't want to be with. And talking down on somebody that they're very, very much in love with. And it's like, it's almost like your person wants to be like, you don't even know them. Like, how can you, you see what I'm saying? Like, your person's looking in the mirror and what's reflecting back is them. They're smiling. They're thinking about you. They don't give a damn about where you came from, your background, how you look, your abilities, if you're disabled, if you have a cock eye, if, you know, you're missing a finger. I'm not making fun of nobody. I'm being serious. Like, this person does not give a fuck. This person doesn't care if you came from the gutter. There's something very pure and very humble and very modest about you and your energy. And even though you, even if you like dress a certain way or whatever, your energy lets you know, lets people know that you're not that type, right? And so I feel like as this karmic mother tries to push them away from you, this person is going to start pushing back. Wow. It's starting to really, really, you know, yeah, financially motivated. That's exactly what the fuck it is. This motherly energy has some kind of finances over their head. And look at, wow, look at this now. There's handcuffs on this person's hand. I hope you guys can see that because I do have a candle burning right there that is giving a, a glare. But there's handcuffs on this person. And it says financially motivated. I can't make that shit up. Okay, so that's how this karmic mother keeps this person in these handcuffs through finances while telling this person that you're low class you're low class you have nothing to show for life you're below them and i've got to be honest um it's almost making your person feel like they just want to just just read the card okay all right it's like they feel like they'll never get away from this mother or this mother will constantly control them. But they need to step out. They need to stop being scared of the unknown and move the fuck away from this karmic mother. Thinking thoughts and calling out for help. Okay. So this person might end up calling you, telling you how they're feeling, how they just can't take it there anymore. They can't do this anymore. Okay. Um... They can't be under the control of this karmic mother anymore. Yeah, look, free from control, liberated. I cannot make this shit up. On top of that, we have damages their relationship and interrupts their daily lives. So, you know, I was just seeing what was under that. Something just told me, you know. And so they're realizing that this karmic mother has done nothing their entire life but damage their relationships and also interrupt their daily lives. And now, like, your person, they're going to reach out. And you might even be like, well, you can come over here. You know, like, I feel like you and this person are fated to be together. It's a twin flame connection. And I feel like this person is going to finally step into the unknown and stop being scared of what might happen. And look... Free from control, liberated independence. Step out alone. Step into their own independence. And that's what's going to free them from this control of this karmic mom. They're going to feel very, very liberated. And it's gonna you're going to help them feel liberated. You're going to show this karmic mom, like, it, it's almost like, yeah, bitch. Okay? Like, because I, pro I, like, I don't want to call anybody else's mom a bitch, but this is was not their true... This was their birth mother on earth. This isn't their soul mother. Okay? So it's almost like, yeah, you thought you were going to control them for life. Look at them out here living life, doing good with me and us in love without you. You know what I'm saying? Or your opinion. I, I feel like it's, it, it's going to turn into something quite beautiful. They're going to liberate themselves from this karmic mother. Okay. 
Look, patronizingly haughty personality. I can't make this up. Whoever this karmic mom is, they think they wear the crown. They think they're the shit. They think they run things. Mm -hmm. Patronizing personality. Got caught out there and belittled. Hmm. Somebody, they're a belittler. Mm. They know that you're they're they're telling your person like you're dead weight, you're you have oppressions burdens that's too heavy for them to carry. Mm, mm, mm. It ain't gonna work. It's it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And your person does not give a fuck if they have to go into an oppression and they have to struggle a little bit. They do not give a damn because they are coming towards you and nothing is going to stop them. It is what it is, okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.